Only a couple of months after the death of several children in Gambia, allegedly due to medicines from India, the Indian pharmaceutical industry has become the focus of negative publicity yet again, for a similar reason. India on Tuesday launched an inquiry into a Noida-based drugs manufacturer after reports indicated that 18 children had died in Uzbekistan after consuming a cough syrup made in India. How did so many children die in Uzbekistan? Is India really to blame? Or is this the doing of a company seeking big profits without caring about the quality of medicines it produces? Hello and welcome. This is Sanveer Singh Ranhotra and you're watching First Post. In a heart-wrenching incident, 18 children have died in Uzbekistan allegedly after consuming a cough syrup manufactured by an Indian firm, Marion Biotech. The Uzbek Health Ministry has said that 18 out of 21 children who took the Dog One Max syrup while suffering from an acute respiratory disease died after consuming it. This syrup is marketed on Marion Biotech's website as a treatment for cold and flu symptoms. The State Security Service of Uzbekistan has announced it has started a criminal probe in the matter. It has also said that the syrup was given to children at home without a doctor's prescription, either by their parents or on the advice of pharmacists, with doses that exceeded the standard dosage for children. A toxic chemical, ethylene glycol, has been found in the cough syrups that made their way into Uzbekistan. The same chemical is a common contaminant in pharma products made without adequate safeguards. This is why another Indian company, Haryana-based Maiden Pharma, is under probe and has got its manufacturing unit shut down. Maiden's cough syrups were linked to the deaths of 70 children in Gambia, but a formal conclusion has not yet been reached. A senior official from the Indian Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has said, and I quote, Drugs Controller General of India is in contact with the Uzbek regulator to obtain detailed information. This company, it seems, is supplying drugs to Uzbekistan for a long period of time. Diethylene glycol and ethylene glycol are highly toxic, colorless and viscous liquids which have a sweetish taste. According to the Center for Disease Control, DEG and EG are often found as contaminants in glycerine, which is used as a sweetener in formulations of many pharmaceutical syrups ingested orally. India has swung into action. The Uttar Pradesh Drug Control Department and Central Drug Standard Control Organization have conducted a joint inspection of Marion Biotech's facility in Noida. Separately, the Drugs Controller General of India has launched a probe into the company. Needless to say, these incidents throw a bad light on India and on the Made in India brand that has earned a positive reputation over the years. It is now time to rein in Indian Pharma. And the government will have to take the initiative. The Uzbek government has said that the misuse and overdose of the medicine was at least partly to blame for the tragic deaths. Of course, that does not absolve the Indian company since the cough syrup had toxic substances which should not have been present in the first place. But consumption of drugs without proper prescriptions and professional oversight does come with an array of associated risks. There's also the question of what kind of quality control measures Uzbekistan had put in place to check the quality of imported medicines. India is known as the pharmacy of the world, and its pharmaceutical exports have more than doubled over the past decade to $24.5 billion. So, how does India tackle this problem and ensure that similar incidents do not happen in the future? That is a question that must be bothering the health ministry officials in New Delhi. For starters, India must ensure quality compliance by all drug manufacturers in the country. Second, it must constantly conduct random tests on the medicines circulating in the market and those being exported to flag any issues before it is too late. Third, India needs to crack down on manufacturers that do not conform to quality rules. The greed of a few drug manufacturers should not be the reason why India's image as the pharmacy of the world takes a hit repeatedly.